up you guys this is car record coming to another video review and this time we'll be taking a look at the we legends series 11 scott hall kind of a controversial figure but i honestly don't think it really deserves a controversy this was actually a figure i was looking forward to for quite a while especially this version of scott hall finally in a nwo wolf pack scott hall very excited to have this and i definitely think this figure actually looks better in person than he does in the pictures, which is one of the reasons why I'm glad I got this figure. But, and I'll explain why in a little bit, but before we do so, take a look at the packaging first, which there is a very awesome difference with, with this packaging that I freaking love. And I'll show you in a second. Anyways, picture of Scott Hall down there, W Legends, but over top of it, it has the NWO logo spray paint on it, which is a very nice touch. And that is also seen at the top here as well. Series 11, picture of Scott Hall down there. Once again, the NWO uh, spray painted or the Elite Collection logo. Pretty much the same thing over here. And on the back has a picture of Scott Hall with his bio and stats. You can pause right there if you want to read. And the other figures in the set, we got Bam Bam Bigelow, of course, Scott Hall, Big John Stud, and the Macho Man Randy Savage. Bam Bam Bigelow, I've already done a review of, so if you haven't seen that, check that out. Scott Hall, obviously reviewing today. Big John Stud, not too sure, because it looks about the same as the other Elite I have. And the Macho Man, I cannot seem to find him. Like, every time I go to Target, I find these three, but I can't seem to find Macho Man. But as soon as I find him, I definitely plan on picking this figure up, as well as the Chase variant of this figure. So as soon as I find him, who knows, maybe I'll find him uh, probably later on this weekend at a convention. Because there's a collector's convention I go to every year. So maybe as you're watching this, I could be at the convention right now, and I could be finding that figure. So, fingers crossed. Anyways, back to Scott Hall. That's about it for the packaging, so let's open up Scott Hall and see what we got here. We'll be right back. All right, so here we have Scott Hall. Open up out of his packaging, and damn, what a great figure. A couple issues I have with it, but still a fantastic figure. But let's take a look. First up, his accessories. He comes with three pairs of interchangeable hands. He comes with the standard gripping hands, as you see here. He comes with the two sweet hands, which you gotta love that. Every NWO figure should come with the two sweet hands. So you gotta love that. And also he comes with a pair of hands that I don't think really make any sense for this figure, and that is the thumbs. I do not remember him doing that. Maybe it's for the pose like like when he like like, like, like during his entrance, like, like where he like jerks his hands like that. Well in that case, if that's the case, then I guess it kinda makes sense. But personally, I would have preferred if he came with uh these hands. Uh like the more wide hands, because when he does his entrance like, 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 he, like he comes out basically like like this with uh, with these hands. So it, personally, I th I would have wished he came with those hands, but not a big deal. At least we do got the thumbs for his other part of the entrance that he does. So it's something different. So he comes with those. He comes with the old school WCW microphone, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, this is the old logo. I think this is like like when Nitro first started. Now, unfortunately, as you see, it is the WWE microphone. As you see, you see the W logo molded, and they just put and they just painted the WCW logo over top of it. So that's kind of pathetic, really, Mattel. Kind of lazy. Comes with a uh, headband, which we've seen this headband before. It's the same headband that came with the Elite Billy Gunn figures, which it just clips right in there. And yeah, it makes his forehead look awkward. <laughs> but detailing, it's fine. And then last but not least, he comes with an NWO Wolfpack uh, t-shirt, which is sleeveless. And unfortunately, it's made of that cloth material that um, may stain your figure, so be careful if you choose to have this figure on your shelf wearing this shirt, so be careful. So thank God he wasn't wearing this shirt in the package, or else it would have had stains all over him. Anyways, now here we have Scott Hall ready for action. Uh, we got a new head sculpt, uh, and it's all right. With the headband on, it looks pretty good. But with the headband off, yeah, I could see why people said this to be controversial. The expression's weird, and also his forehead is gigantic. But I do think it looks like Scott Hall. They're, they were kind of trying to make this head with a little smirk here. But it's fine. I think it's a decent head sculpt. I think if you have the headband on, it looks much better. But without it, it looks awkward. Of course, this guy's trademark chest hair, which is decently done. He's got standard uh, black elbow pads on this side, but then on this side he has the black and red for the wolf pack. 
no wrist tape, unfortunately. Uh, red trunks with Hall on the front and Wolf Pack on the back, of course. Red and black knee pads, which I love how it has like this blood pattern on it. Love that. That was one thing I've always loved about the NWO Wolf Pack. And then standard red boots with black laces. That's pretty cool. And they are softer rubber knee pads this time, so so pretty much no problems bending the knees. I mean, they limit the posability of his knees a little bit, but they're not like that really, really hard rubber that they used to use, thank God. Because you wouldn't be able to move them at all. Uh, his hip joints are a little bit loose, kind of like the Razor Ramon figures that these legs came from. But that's fine. And speaking of Razor Ramon, here's a couple of comparisons with the Razor Ramon figures I have. The Defining Moments and the Legends Series 7. So definitely one evolution went from Razor Ramon to Sky Hall and WCW. Pretty cool. Like I said, same mold. Same mold for the legs and the torso and the chest hair. Alright, so articulation. Pretty much what you expect on a Elite figure. Head can rotate 360, but because of his hair, it gets in the way. Arms flare rotate 360. They can go in and out. Rotate at the bicep. Bend the elbow. Rotate at the wrist and hinge. Ab crunch. Moves about that far forward and that far back. Swivel waist, legs forward about that far and back to the original position. Then go in and out, rotate at the thigh. Double jointed knee, swivel at the boot and hinge at the ankle, but it is very tight. And slight ankle pivot. Love that. Like I said, it sucks that he has the loose leg joints and the forehead looks bizarre. But aside from that, very underrated figure. So I would say this is definitely a must have, especially for your uh, NW Wolfpack collection. So, cool figure. I like it. So, some quick final thoughts. Overall, I really enjoyed this figure. I think it's a very underrated figure. I actually really, really like it. Yeah, the head scan is a little weird, and also the forehead is really awkward when you take the headband off. And also the loose uh, leg joints. But aside from that, I would say this is definitely probably a must-have figure for for your collection for WCW, uh, Razor Ramon slash Scott Hall, or the NWO Wolfpack. I think it's great to finally have a uh, NWO Wolfpack Scott Hall, because I think the last red and black Scott Hall we got was actually the Outsiders uh, Scott Hall. So it's actually great to have an NWO Wolfpack to go along with our NWO Wolfpack Sting and our NWO Wolfpack Macho Man. Hopefully we get more NWO Wolfpack figures soon. So, like, I think that would be pretty, pretty sick. Like I said, aside from the loose leg joints, uh, the, the head scan could have been better, and also the forehead is awkward. Aside from that, great figure. Love the accessories. Love the attire they chose. Great figure. So, as you can find him in the store, he is pretty easy to find, so... So I would say you shouldn't have a problem finding them, but if not, if you can get them online for a good deal, I would say definitely pick them up. This is definitely a must-have for your NWO Wolfpack collection, WCW collection, and your Scott Hall slash Razor Ramon collection. Like I said, because of the flaws, I'll give it a 7.5. So, so I would say pick it up if you can. I definitely recommend it. Anyways, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Link down below. Be sure to pick up your official character merch on my store on bonfire.com, link down below. Also, be, be sure to check out my other review from Legend Series 11, Bam Bam Bigelow. And stay tuned for a future review of the Macho Man as soon as I can find him from Series 11. And also, be sure to hit that, hit that subscribe button and tap the, notif the notification bell so you never miss a single upload. I upload new reviews just about every single Saturday right here on this channel. And also, stay tuned for my uh, uh, pickups from RetroCon 2021, which should be coming probably in the next day or two. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.